Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for limit. Kali refers to the question, limit when x approaching negative 3, we have the function x to the power 3 plus 27 over x plus 3. So if we substitute the negative 3, and we will have 0 over 0, where we have the indeterminate form. The suggested strategy would be, number 1, multiply by the conjugate, second one, factorization, the third one is long division. So for this question, my suggestion would be by using the long division. So why we are using long division? Because of x cubed. We cannot factorize by ourselves. So we have to make use of the two where we have the long division. So in here, we have x to the power 3 plus with 0 x squared plus with 0 x plus with the 27. Divisor, x plus 3. So x squared, we have x cubed plus with 3 x squared. Negative 3 x squared plus with the 0 x plus with the 27. Minus the 3 x so we have negative 3x squared minus 9x. So we have 9x plus with the 27. Finally, plus with the 9. So we have 9x plus with the 27. And the remainder is 0. Rewrite the situation. We have limit when x approaching negative 3. Then we have the situation in here. x squared minus 3x plus with the 9 as a qx. Multiply with the divisor. We have x plus 3 over x plus 3. Notice that we have the common terms, so we can simplify and rewrite the situation limit when x approaching negative 3. We have x squared minus 3x plus with the 9. If we substitute the value, we have negative 3 squared, which is equal to 9, plus with the 9, plus with the 9. So limit when x approaching negative 3 for the function x to the power 3 plus 27 over x plus 3. The value of y will be approaching 27. Kali refers to b, limit when x approaching 2. So if we substitute the 2, and we notice that we have 4 plus with the 12, which is equal to 16, then we have the square root of 16 where we have 4. 4 minus 4, and we will have 0 over 0. So where we have the indeterminate form. The suggested situation would be multiply by the conjugate, factorization, and long division. So for this case, my suggestion would be limit when x approaching 2. We have the square root of x squared plus with the 12 minus 4 over x minus 2. The strategy would be multiply by the conjugate. So here we have the conjugate. Kindly take note, only expand for one part, which is the numerator, and make use of the formula where we have the a squared minus b squared. Limit when x approaching 2. So if we square the x squared plus with the 12, then we have x squared plus with the 12 minus, we have 4 squared, which is equal to 16. Over, we have x minus 2, multiply with square root, x squared plus with the 12 plus with the 4. Simplify the situation, and we have limit when x approaching 2. So, x squared minus 4. Over, we have x minus 2, multiply with the square root, x squared plus with the 12 plus with the 4. So, if we substitute the situation 2 again, so if we substitute the 2 again, in here we will obtain another IDF. So repeat the process. What we have to do is to multiply by the conjugate, factorization or long division. So for this case, my suggestion would be factorization. So limit when x approaching 2. We have x minus 2, x plus 2. Over, we have x minus 2, multiply with the square root of x squared plus with the 12 plus with the 4. Notice that we have the common terms. So rewrite the situation. Limit. When x approaching 2, we have x plus 2 over, we have square root of x squared plus with the 12 plus with the 4. If we substitute the value 2, and we will have 4 over, substitute 2, we have 16, square root of 16, then we have 4 plus with the 4, 8. So finally, limit when x approaching 2 for the function, square root of x squared plus with the 12 minus 4 over x minus 2, the value of y will be approaching 1 over 2. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.